Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining me. I am Tadeu Coelho. In this lesson, we will be discussing a very important topic, which is finger posture. Before we begin, I want to make sure I note that in this video, we will not be discussing fingerings. For the level of this video, we assume that you know where to put your fingers and have access to a fingering chart. The flute should be placed on the cushy inside part of your index knuckle on the left hand. This will be below the line of your index finger. When you close the rest of your hand around the flute, it is okay for the thumb to be extended above the B key. You do not need to bend your thumb to meet the key. Simply use whatever part of the thumb naturally lands on the key. When you lift the flute, it is important to have a 90 degree angle here between the flute and the back of your hand. You will also notice that my index finger on my left hand is at the same level of my middle finger and not below it, but on the same level. If the index finger is too low, that means that the flute is resting above the first knuckle and it is too high on your index finger. When you place the flute on your chin, you will then have the tendency to push upward instead of downward with your left hand, which might create a pinched tone. The lip plate should rest on the curve of the chin as the bottom lip will unfold onto the lip plate. Be sure that the lip plate is in the curvature of your chin and not placed too high on the lips. To keep this placement, the left hand will create pressure from the top down to secure the head joints lip plate on your chin. Now, the placement of your thumb of the right hand on the flute is also very important. When you relax your hand to your side, the thumb will be close to in line with the index finger. This is the same placement you will then use your thumb when playing the flute. I will note that sometimes placing the thumb of the right hand slightly to the right might help release the pressure of the pinky at times. Both pinkies of your right and left hand should be curved or almost in naturally straight line. The important thing is to make sure that it is not flexed in the opposite direction. Attempting to play with curved pinkies will help prevent injuries and will also help with the agility for trills. For the rest of your fingers on the right hand, be sure that they are straight in a 90 degree angle to the body of the flute. Next, the wrist on your right hand should be in a comfortable position as well. Be sure that the wrist is not bent too much by raising the hand upward or lowering it downward in order to avoid tension of the right hand and fingers. For the majority of the notes, aside from the low register with the pinky, the knuckles should be in line of the body of the flute. The right hand knuckles should be in line, almost like a parallel position with the body of the flute. Having a good finger posture when starting the flute will ensure your development in the future, avoiding many headaches of trying to correct something 
that should have been in place when you first started playing the instrument. Thank you for joining me in this session of finger posture. If you enjoyed the information in this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and feel free to share this video with others.